Shalom Temple Israel, it's Thursday, it's good to see you again today. So you can see I've moved inside, I've been used to doing my videos outside and enjoying the beautiful North Carolina fall weather, but today we're all dealing with a hurricane warning and with rainstorms. My power already went out once today, so I really hope that I make it through this video. But I also hope that each of you is staying safe and dry today. Next week is going to be a very big week in our country, as Tuesday will be Election Day. I am one of the millions and millions of Americans who has voted early for the first time in my life. On a Sunday afternoon, Heidi and I went to the Spectrum Center, and it took us about 10 minutes to complete the entire process. And both of us were so impressed with how safe and how comfortable it felt. The safety procedures were in place. We did not have to have extensive contact with any other people. And we are so appreciative of the ability to vote for our elected leaders in a way that felt safe during this pandemic when we try to avoid other people uh, as much as possible. So if you haven't already voted early, I hope that you have a plan in place for how you will cast your vote before or on Tuesday. As a rabbi, I always look to Jewish tradition to you know, think about a given issue. And I wanted to see what Jewish tradition has to say about voting for our leaders. Of course, voting in elections is not discussed in the Torah or the Talmud. And the first time the Jews really asked about voting was when we came to America in large numbers in the 20th century. One very well-known ultra-Orthodox rabbi, Rabbi Moshe Feinstein, who lived on the Lower East Side of Manhattan, was sent a question. He was sent questions from people all over the country who wanted to know how to live as American Jews. And he was asked by people who had not voted before, who had not experienced uh, an election, should Jews vote? Can Jews vote according to halakha? Are Jews required to vote? And this is the answer that he gave in a letter regarding the obligation to vote. And he said, on, the, on reaching the shores of the United States, Jews found a safe haven. The rights guaranteed by the United States Constitution and the Bill of Rights have allowed us the freedom to practice our religion without interference and to live in this republic in safety. A fundamental principle of Judaism is hakarat hatov, recognizing benefits afforded us and giving expression to our appreciation. Therefore, it is incumbent upon each Jewish citizen to participate in the democratic system, which guards the freedoms we enjoy. The most fundamental responsibility incumbent on each individual is to register and to vote. Therefore, I urge all members of the Jewish community to fulfill their obligations by registering as soon as possible and by voting. By this, we can express our appreciation and contribute to the continued security of our community. Rabbi Feinstein turned to the principle of hakarat hatov, the Jewish principle of gratitude. The idea that we came to America to find safety, and for the most part, we have found safety here, and we have thrived as a people. And we express our thanks to America as a larger society by participating as good citizens and by fulfilling our civic responsibilities. Now, this coming election is, no secret, a very controversial and a very heated election. We are a split community, just like every other community across this country. There are people who will vote for Joe Biden, and there are people who will vote for Donald Trump in our community. And so I want to ask each of you to do something else in addition to casting your vote. It is so important that our synagogue models for the larger society how people of different political persuasions can get along with each other, can coexist, because we see more and more that people's whole identities are established by who they vote for. I hope that our synagogue can continue to be a place where different types of people meet, but that takes work on your parts, and that takes respect for your neighbors and for your friends who may make different choices than you do. The next president will be whoever it is that the American people 
elects as the next president, but we still have to live with each other regardless of who that person is. And so now we make the extra effort to be kind to each other, even when we make different choices than our neighbors. Wish you all a Shabbat Shalom, and most importantly this week, go out and vote.